Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a login screen with MIT App Inventor. And this works really well, it's really secure, and I think you guys will like it. So on our first screen, we're just going to pick a background color. Then I'm going to add a text box, not text box, label. And make it fill the parent. And I'm going to put... And then I'm going to select the font size to be 28, and I'm going to put the text in the middle. There we go. So then, next we'll do, I'm just going to get a little layout thing, put it here, and the width, and make it feel better. And the height, I'm going to make it go down to 40%. Actually, scratch that, 35%. That's better. Maybe. 30 is better, okay. And that should be no background. And so then, we're going to get our... We're going to get label, and we're going to type user name we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and then we're gonna get a text box and we're gonna make it fill parent and that's what we have and we're gonna rename this to user name okay and then we're going to get another label we're gonna make it say password and then we're gonna get a password text box put it right here make it fill our parent and then we're gonna get one button well actually I'm gonna put a blank label right here Never mind, so we're just gonna delete that. Okay, we're just gonna get our button. We're gonna make it fill parent. We're gonna make the background color be red. And we're gonna put log in. Just like that. Now we have our, our screen. So now we'll go to our, our well, man, I'm going to rename this password text box. No, never mind. We'll go to our blocks and we'll get our button and when button one dot click, we'll have, we have to get this username. We have to get um, username dot text. We're going to need to get our password dot text. And we're going to need our logic and this, and then we're going to need our if statement. So now we have this, we're going to do if username, well, then we're going to create a copy of this. So if username.text is equal to Let's make it say admin. And then we're going to have to get this and thing. We're going to put that and right in there. And then we're going to get this password.txt and do the same thing. And our password will be 123456. Just put that right in there. So then, now, we're going to add a screen called Welcome. And on this screen, I'm just going to put something simple. We're just going to put a time picker. 
No, we are not. Sorry. We're just gonna put a button that fills the entire parent. Okay, we're just gonna type, make it say that. And then here, we're just gonna hurry to our code. We're gonna do one button dot click. We're just gonna make it go to open another screen name. We're going to make it be screen one. Bam, okay. Now let's go back to our screen one. So then, if you get, if that's all right, now we're going to make it do open another screen name and the text will be our welcome page welcome or else so then now we're going to go here and we're going to create we're going to create our a little text here that says incorrect credentials so then we're gonna make that be we're gonna make the incorrect credentials not visible so then we're gonna we are so for here on the if we want it to go away just in case it, they do get it right when they do get it right we want the incorrect credentials to go away so we're gonna make our label set label visible to we're gonna set it to false and we're just gonna duplicate that and on the R else, we're going to make it be true. So that's all you basically have to do. So now let's go and test it on the, on the phone. I'm just going to connect our AI companion real quick. Hey guys, so now we're here. We're just going to open our AI companion. We're going to scan our QR code. So scan QR code. Bam. Now that our QR code's scanned, here's our login to profile. So we're just gonna put in our username, admin, and password one, two, three, four, five, six. Press login, and bam, and you got there. So let's see what happens if you don't put in the right password. So we go back here, let's put admin. And then we're just going to do a bunch of random. And see, it says incorrect credentials. So if we try it again, let's put the wrong username. Still incorrect. And if we put it back to admin, See, now we're here. So you signed in, press the button to back, go back to the login. And bam, we're back to the login.